Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputin, and this is the One Netbook, One Mix Yoga, which is a tiny little laptop with a QWERTY keyboard, touchscreen display, pen support, and a 360 degree hinge that allows you to use it in laptop or tablet modes. It's going to be available soon from geekbuying.com for about $469, and Geekbuying sent me this demo unit for testing purposes. It's a prototype, it's a pre-production sample, and it's got a couple of quirks and issues that I wanted to point out. Hopefully most of these will be resolved by the time it's available at retail, but uh, the version that I'm testing does have some quirks that I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of so that you know hopefully just what the differences are between this version and the final version. Um, but that's assuming that they're all resolved properly by the time it is available at retail. So first up is if you go into settings, and there's a little thing down here that says Windows isn't activated, activate Windows now. Um, it ships without a Windows license. I've been told that the version that customers will actually buy, if you spend money on this thing, the first time you connect to the internet, it'll uh, activate Windows for you. That didn't happen on this version, but again, it's a pre-production sample. And all that really means for the most part is that I can't change, I can't customize the personalized uh, desktop background theme and some other uh, settings. And after using it for a while, you'd see a little Windows build number over here. But um, if you want an active uh, Windows license, you're going to want to wait for the retail version, which most people are going to do because you can't actually get the pre-production sample that I was sent. Uh, another thing is that it's supposed to have a backlit keyboard. And if you look at the keys, you'll notice that the power button is illuminated. None of the other keys are. If you press the button that looks like it should light up the keyboard, nothing happens. So. It's supposed to have the backlit keyboard. I've been told that the final version will have a backlit keyboard. The prototype I'm testing does not. So those are two of the first things that you'll notice. A much more significant one is that sleep doesn't work. So if you go into settings here, actually what we want is the power and sleep settings. Like most computers, most laptop computers, it is set up, or it's Windows thinks it's set up, so that Pressing the power button puts it to sleep. Pressing the sleep button puts it to sleep. I'm not really sure where there's different power and sleep buttons here, but whatever. Closing the lid should put it to sleep. Uh, that's what it's supposed to do. In practice, I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid, and I still hear the fan, so I'm gonna wait until I hear the fan shut off before I open it. There's a fan back here, or the vent for the fan. It's off. So let's open it back up. Everything's off. If I tap the power button to resume from sleep, nothing at all happens. Um, so I'm going to press and hold it for a second, and you'll see it should come back. So it glows, and the screen comes back on. Now at first I thought that press and hold was the problem. I thought what was happening was I was using the computer, uh, it went to sleep, and somehow in order to turn it back on, I accidentally rebooted it by pressing and holding for too long. But Repeated tests have shown that that's not actually what's happening. It's doing a disk check because I keep rebooting it while I'm uh, while I'm shooting this video. Um, generally speaking, that hasn't been a problem. But it is a cold boot, so you can see it takes a lot longer than doing a normal boot. And more importantly, when we close this, switch to my password. When we uh, turned it off, we had a bunch of windows open, and when we log in this time, you'll see that they're not running. Um, so we, you have to start whatever you're doing from scratch. That's kind of a problem on a device like this, because I think part of the appeal of having something so small and portable is you type, you're, you know, you're working on a document, you're playing a game, you're doing whatever, and you're like, oh, you know, I've arrived at my destination, I'm going to get out of the cab or lift or bus or whatever, and I'll just fold this up, throw it in my bag or my pocket, and pick up what I was doing uh, when I get home. Uh, but you can't just pick up what you were doing because the programs that you were running are all closed. Now this does ship with the Windows 10 April 2018 uh, Creators Update, so you do have access to the timeline feature of Windows for picking up where you left off, but it's not quite the same as just opening it and quickly uh, resuming whatever applications you were running. So that's what happens if you close the lid. What if you tried something else? Let's go into the power, and you can see we've got sleep, shutdown, and restart. So let's choose sleep. Keep an eye on that power button here, you can see that it's glowing. It's kind of 
hard to see that in this light, but it just went off. I'm press and hold to turn back on. And again, we're cold booting. So that's closing the lid using the Windows uh, Start Menu Sleep option. Both with the same result. And in other videos, I'll go over more of the functionality of this device. When it works, it works pretty well. It's a little bit slow because of the processor that's in it, but it's a pretty versatile little device. But the fact that it doesn't wake from sleep properly uh, or doesn't go to sleep properly is, is kind of a problem with the prototype, and I'm hoping that it's just a prototype issue. Um, so the last thing I'm going to show you is what happens when you uh, press the power button. Not press and hold, just sort of a quick tap. Uh, first, let's just go ahead and open an application so that you can see that when we resume, it's not still there. Tap, screen goes off, and it's going to shut down. Now that's not necessarily a huge problem when you're just using this in laptop mode because all you got to do is remember, type, 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 don't hit the button all the way in the upper right hand corner. In tablet mode, I think it's a little bit more problematic, and I'll show you that in a moment. So again, if you try rebooting a bunch of times in a row on the, pretty much any Windows machine, you're going to start to get some of those error messages that try to figure out if there's something wrong with your computer. Uh, there is, but it's just that it doesn't go to sleep properly. I've also gone into the, uh, the BIOS UEFI settings and tried to change sleep state options and a couple of other things. None of that seems to have helped very much. That's my cat, Ali, by the way. She used to be more of a shoulder cat than she is these days. Anyways, uh, as I mentioned, laptop mode, that power button's not a huge issue. You just don't touch it and you'll be okay. But say you wanted to use this like a tablet. So let's go ahead and um, switch to tablet mode. And in this mode, it's been doing this thing just lately where the screen turns off in that mode, but I think it's because I'm trying to do it too soon after starting the device. Let's give it a second. There we go. So in this mode, Most of the keys on the back of the computer, I'm not quite sure why that keeps happening, turn off. So I'm not actually touching anything. But if I were to touch the power button all the way up here on the uh, corner, it would just turn off the computer because that's the only power button that you've got. So um, there's not one on the side or the top or anything else. So that's how you turn the computer on and off in tablet mode. And it's pretty easy to accidentally touch that if you flip this over so you're holding it with the hinge on this side. Because if you think about it, that's pretty much where your pinky's going to be. So the, the main thing to make sure that you don't touch the power button is to hold it in this mode. Um, I don't think I just touched it now. I think the screen is just being wonky. Honestly, this is only an issue, I think, because I've been rebooting the computer over and over. Or not. It just turned off. Um, so the fact that it sort of randomly goes to sleep at times when you maybe hit the wrong key combination is, uh, is sort of what I've been considering a deal breaker issue for the prototype. Again, I'm hoping that this is an issue that's resolved by the time it's available as a retail device, 
but um, it is something that's made it a little bit sort of unpleasant testing this prototype because I know every time I want to start the computer, I'm going to have to do a cold boot. So I need to save my work. I need to uh, prepare before I shut it down at any moment. Uh, simply closing the lid doesn't mean that I can just pick up where I left off. Doesn't mean that all my documents will be saved. Doesn't mean that my progress will be saved. Doesn't mean I can get back to the same websites that I was looking at in a web browser. Um, so prototype issue, hopefully, but it is something that I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of. So that's a uh, quick look at the One Netbook, One Mix Yoga prototype and some of the issues that uh, hopefully will be resolved before it's available for everybody. Uh, you can check out some other videos that I'll be posting uh, for more details about how it works when it works well, and uh, more information about small computers at this YouTube channel and at lilliputing.com. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.